Welcome to the video on Login-Based License Management, or LBLM, for Tableau Server and Tableau Online. This video is best suited for Tableau Server and Tableau Online administrators, as well as anyone in charge of licensing at your company. We're also going to discuss the desktop and user experience and some of the settings that are important there. My name is Kelly Figueroa. I am one of the subject matter experts on licensing here at Tableau. And I'm glad to answer your questions in the Tableau community. So come visit me to ask me any desktop prep or server question. It could be about errors you're seeing, about new features you have questions about, or any licenses that's, that are confusing or not uh, specified as you would think. So let's get started. LBLM is the ability to use Tableau Desktop or Tableau Prep by simply signing into server, which will be your Tableau server or Tableau Online. And you can see that option here on the Tableau Desktop Activation menu. With LBLM, there's no need to manage that long list of product keys that used to sit in the Tableau Customer Portal. Tableau Server or Tableau Online will now manage who can use Desktop or Prep, and you simply assign that user a creator seat. In addition, there is a great new report available to server and online administrators that lists who's using Tableau Desktop and Tableau Prep, and how often. And in addition, there's no longer any need to refresh or deactivate product keys. One of the things that used to concern everyone was if the user left the company, how can I ensure that they no longer use Tableau Desktop? Well, now you can simply remove that user or unlicense that user, and that will stop the ability to use Desktop and Prep. So really great functionality here that gives the Tableau Server or Tableau Online Administrator control of who can use Desktop or Prep. I want to spend a couple minutes on the setup for Tableau Online and Tableau Server with LBLM. In Tableau Online, LBLM is enabled by default. So if you're a new Tableau Online customer, you won't even see any product keys for Desktop or Prep in the Tableau Customer Portal. Tableau Online users can start using Desktop or Prep immediately once assigned a seat with Tableau Online. Now with Tableau Server on-premise, there is one thing that has to occur. An LBLM enabled product key needs to be activated. And here in the TSM user interface, you can look to see if your key has the LBLM flag enabled. You can also see this using the command line TSM licenses list. The screenshot here, you can see the column that has LBLM and if your keys have a check mark there, then you know the key is enabled. If you look here at TSM UI and you look at your list of Tableau server keys and you see no keys with LBLM enabled, you should reach out to your Tableau account manager to get that process started. LBLM will not work unless you have a product key activated for Tableau server that has that flag set. Tableau desktop and Tableau prep Use Tableau Server or Tableau Online to talk to the licensed service on AWS. That is our ATR service, or the authority to run. Tableau Server must be able to communicate through your network to talk to the licensed service that is hosted on AWS. You can Google Tableau Internet Requirements in order to see that list of URLs that your network team may be interested in. Both port 80 and 443 are needed due to AWS certificate checks. I'm going to talk about the ATR duration or the lease value in this next slide which can help with a maximum activation error. This lease value represents the amount of time that the desktop client software must be offline or shut down before the activation can be used on a new machine. So let me explain that. So for example if the ATR duration or the lease value is set for the default 14 days and you're using VMs, and the VM is returned, it will be 14 days before this specific activation is available to be used again. LBLM and the use of the ATR service is about capacity. If setting up a virtual deployment of desktop with non-persistent VMs, you want to set this ATR duration value to be much lower. Many of our customers use uh, four hours, which is our lowest, eight or 10 hours. And this is allowing the end user to be delivered a new VM every day or several times a day without receiving a maximum use or maximum activation error. Please note that the new VM will cause a prompt for activation 
but there'll be no maximum activation error, which, which stops the user from the ability to use desktop at all. Now, good news here is that for persistent hardware, the desktop client will not prompt for new activation even when this duration time has passed because the ATR lease is being refreshed in the background while desktop or prep is open. So only if the machine is shut down for the entire time of the lease will a user get prompted to activate again. Also, if the user accesses desktop or prep on a new computer or a VM, they of course will be prompted to activate. And if the user is no longer a creator on Tableau Server or Tableau Online, the lease will stop working. In most cases, because the lease refreshes in the background, the end user can continue to use the software because when desktop is open, the lease is being refreshed. So it's a really great end user experience. That lease value becomes very important when the VMs or the machines are not persistent. Here are the two commands that set the ATR duration or the LBLM lease for the desktop client. Tableau Server can set the ATR duration value for all desktop clients, and desktop installations can also set the value, which will always take precedence over the Tableau Server setting. The ATR service is being used more and more in our product to manage licensing, including LBLM, which we talked about here, Server ATR, which is the authority to run new activation service starting with 2021.1. Also in 2021.1, the ATR service is used for Linux installs with containers. And lastly, the ATR service is also used for virtual desktop, still using product keys. So you can see that the ATR service on AWS is becoming a very popular method for all our products, providing a much better end user experience. Some resources that I think you'll find helpful is for Tableau Online. There is a really good LBLM page, including virtual desktop specifications and examples. There is also a community blog on the ATR duration setting and some of the things we discussed here. Come visit me on the Tableau community under the topic board licensing. And if you're interested in finding the URLs that your network team is asking about in order to talk to the AWS server, you can just Google Tableau Internet Requirements to find that. So remember, the benefits of LBLM are really important when your company is used to having all those problems with maximum activation issues for your desktop and prep users, those poor end users forgetting to deactivate their product keys, having to refresh keys, all that goes away when you use LBLM. And of course, customers love the fact that Tableau Server or Tableau Online controls who can use Tableau Desktop. So I hope you found this was helpful. I'll see you on the community.